Hello YouTube, this is Puck. As I promised, um, after uh, getting back our pause uh, button in uh, the recording, what we did, we um, we restored back to 4.0.x um, to the um, how you call it. We did a full wipe, ICS full wipe. I'm talking about the Samsung S2 now, but this is also for other phones. You know, but um, I don't know if you can use the same file. So this file that I'm uh, talking about, the root, the 4.1.2, is only for the Samsung S2. I'm not sure if it also works on the S3 and the S4 and the S1. Not sure about that. You have to find out yourself. So what we're gonna do? We uh, have a four point. Uh, what was it? What was I saying? 4.1.2. We have it on our that system battery is empty stupid 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 but we can also do it with this one up here yeah this one is still on up here we have uh, 4.1.2 and what we want to do is uh, to um, to uh, jailbreak we want to root uh, Android 4.1.2 running on the Samsung S2 so that's what we want to do and that's what I'm gonna show you okay my friends okay so what you need to do in the first place is go to the place where you have installed uh, your uh, what was it your 4.1.2 let me see where it is it was in my videos and then um, jailbreak yeah there we are s2 firmware here we are okay so if you went to the site where you can create an account and get this file yeah this is the updated 4.12 file when you have this file yeah only if you have 4.1.2 installed on your uh, Samsung S2 then you're gonna do as follow what you're gonna do is first of all you're gonna start your program called Arden Arden you're gonna go to Arden, you're gonna start up your Arden. So, and when it's started up, you will go to your phone and you will turn it off. When it's turned off, you're gonna hold down the volume button, hold down the home button, and then press the phone with the power button on, holding all these three buttons at the same time that will bring you into a download mode and then when you get when you see a certain screen you have to hit your volume button up and that will bring you to the next screen and then the phone will say uh, do not turn the phone off make sure well yeah you must have a little bit of battery inside of course but it's not really necessary uh, because the thing will be connected to the USB cable and I think it will then also get power so what you should do is uh, then collect connect the phone to the USB and then you will see that the ID come here the ID come here yeah where you see my mouse will turn yellow this phone is not in a download mode no so nothing will happen up here so what you're gonna do yeah my friends what you're gonna do you're gonna select PDA yeah you're gonna select PDA and probably we will get the error here no not because the phone is not connected you will select pda and then you will go to this file that i'm gonna put into the description ics full wipe no not this one i'm sorry about that we're gonna go to the 4.1 4.12 and you're gonna select this file see ya you see that 4.1 this is only for the s2 4.1.2 i don't know if this uh cja file also works i don't think so i think then you need cja for s3 you can see here s2 version 6 bloody blah, blah tar you see that your phone is connected in download mode to this program to your computer you can see that here the id com is yellow or green maybe 
and then you just hit start and then it will jailbreak the phone and in a couple of seconds your phone will start up again and then you will have 4.12 jailbroken rooted on your Samsung phone and now I want to talk about what the benefits are about rooting uh, original version of Samsung you must see it this way that if you download a custom firmware something that was created by somebody that we don't know I'm not saying that these guys are crooks or thieves or whatever but I'm just saying that the operating system is made in a kind of way you know that people creators that know about the Android you know that know about codes that create apps and know about stuff these people you know if they create a custom ROM they will always be able at least if I was the creator I would always want to know who is using my custom ROM what they are doing with it and whatever 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 and all these things are all traceable you know so it is really important that if you install a custom ROM that you also trust the maker of this ROM guys like slim bean and guys like uh, um, there are many out there that created complete sites you know with dot com uh, uh, names but um, will 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 still not be even though these sites are fully registered and we know who the owners are and we even know the name of the developer and we know where he lives etc you know even then these guys are not responsible for anything that happens to your phone it's also written that if you install a custom firmware you know nobody is responsible for anything that happens to you so if you are you know um, doing banking business and you get hacked don't complain there's nobody you can complain to you understand if uh, your passwords get stolen or uh, your uh, secret pictures that you made of your girlfriend naked pictures they get online suddenly because somebody hacked you because whatever kind of reason what kind of ever app you were running on your uh, Android rooted custom ROM device then there's nobody you can complain to you understand so that is important to know and um, the benefits of rooting an Android device that um, is running a stock firmware so you're rooting the stock firmware if you don't do crazy things and if you don't set the root permissions to you know to take over the phone completely at all time you can set that you can use it for only apps or use it for apps and uh, extra stuff that can be controlled of the phone if you don't know about that you shouldn't go putting these things on you only need the root for certain apps such as your firewall that you want to use to block these blood clock programs from Samsung that are like I don't know if they're spying on you or you know whatever but sending banners and stuff you know in my listings I'm gonna make a video that one will come after this one when my phone is you know a little bit with power because it's dead now cannot show it to you but um, as soon uh, if, if it's full I'm gonna show you what the benefits are of running you know a phone a Samsung S2 phone with stock firmware that you rooted yourself with Arden and we're not talking about custom ROMs that you downloaded from some place and then installed on your precious little darling you understand what I'm saying good so now you know all the benefits of jailbreaking rooting uh, um, Android 4.1.2 and uh, you're happy with it you know I would say stick on that there is nothing wrong with 4.1.2 and you can make it just as beautiful as 4.3 you know no need to be on 4.3.1 because Samsung did not make that firmware yet for the Samsung S2 as soon as Samsung create that firmware you can then download it or you will update your phone and then 
your uh, you can then root it again thanks to the help of the xda developers that are giving us so much good information and also check the firmware they test the firmware that all these guys are making so thanks to xda you know not so much crazy things are happening in the custom firmware world although i must say that uh, the stock firmware runs much better than any custom firmware ever because you will not get errors and you will not have somebody saying to you that everything that you do on your phone is your own responsibility because if something goes wrong and you're running firmware from samsung and you didn't do crazy things and you didn't give all permissions to the root to do whatever they want on your phone you know because if you don't know these things you must not root your phone you must just leave it on 4.1.2 and enjoy android and the power of android also version 4.1.1 will do just fine you will have the pause button and you know it works just fine no need to go install 4.3 4.3.1 or even 4.3.2 that still has to create it be created no need to do that so i hope you know now how to uh root your phone you know uh in a responsible way on responsible firmware and um soon i'm also gonna make a video about how to manage a gang and how to get four girlfriends i'm just kidding this was just a prank nice eh? i made a nice picture with it i, I was djing this weekend so she's like one of the most beautiful girls that come to the place man I, I really like her man she's like really sexy and cool and really she has the most beautiful smile i, I blurred it up a little bit here because you know i don't want everybody to recognize her of course because if everybody knows that she's so pretty i will lose her really fast i'm just kidding but so now you know how to root your phone people if you like this information rate this video thumpy thumpy up of course like 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 we like you very much and I hope, hope you also like my king's hat. This is my king's hat. You know, I wear this in the discotheque. And then all the girls, they come to me. And they think that I'm a king. You know? Just kidding again, yo. I'm just making a little bit fun today. On this beautiful Monday. Here in... Yeah, what can I say? It's coldy. But still beautiful spring. Is it spring? Spring is lento. And it's autumn, very beautiful autumn afternoon. So, you know, I'm gonna enjoy my afternoon here, I'm gonna chat with my beautiful girl there, and I'm gonna talk to you later. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Of course, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. You must like, because if you don't like, how can I like? Then my next video, bye.